Welcome back to Gensokyo Explosion Big Waterfall. We're still on the second floor. This one kind of spooked me because I have no idea how long this game's gonna go. This could go on for a really long time. Um, we just healed up. We found a hot springs. Good job, us. And we're gonna use that to... Well, heal. It occurs to me I can do this. Oh, Swako can't one-shot him. Okay, I was kind of hoping. But oh well. But we leveled up! Level 5! Heck yeah! Uh, you also notice that Suwako's P is maxed out at 4. It only goes up to 4. Which is also why, um, the longer you're in a dungeon, the more powerful you become, due to this mechanic. So, it's also good to stop by Hot Springs, given the chance. Would it be faster just to go back this way? Probably be safer. I gotta go back, like, all the way to the start, though, to get back that way. As long as I'm not dancing around the S SEOs, then uh, we should be fine. That was just Suwako's regular attack, though. How in the world did she not destroy one with her... Whatever it was. It's funny, because this kind of game, I find I almost... I get to the point where I just play it on the minimap. Especially once I have an area mapped out and I'm just, like, backtracking. It's you it's of course useful to see new stuff on the main screen. Because you can see, like, oh that hallway goes on a long way. But I end up just playing so much of it on the mini. I uh, should be fine. Okay, so we need to go this way, which was progress. I actually think it would be better for me to kill you. No, well, ah, it's hard to tell. Yeah, this, which was progress, because you fall down a hole. Now we're here. You hit a switch and open that door from this side. So now we don't have to go up and around anymore, we can just come back this way. Ooh. I'm a little, I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. Um, I know the one in the middle can actually hurt. It would be real heckin' cool if I could kill the outside fairies in one shot. I don't think I can, though. Oh, I can! Yeah, six hurts a little. Not too bad. Okay, that wasn't the worst thing imaginable. I am playing with fire here. Because I want to map it all. Uh, there's a door. Here. You can actually kill fairies. You just regular attack her and we'll see how much damage it does. 
More than half. Okay. Can you a regular attack? Yes. Okay. Okay. We got an item. What is it? Uh, that looks like water. No. It's a, it's a scale. A weight scale. We can weigh things to an accuracy of 0.1 kilograms. Don't know what it's used for. Uh, so mostly you sell it at the shop because you don't want it in your inventory anymore. But if you want to be kind of weird, you can go back and use it on one of the players. Is it this one? I don't know what that is. I don't think that's it, because it didn't do anything. No, that's the empty bottle. That's the weight. 45.5 kilograms. Cool. Ooh. Huh. Okay, so what was our plan for this one? You can take them out in one shot. And then you half damage. Alright, we did it. Okay, I guess that was that. We got an item. Rock candy. That's a uh, SP healing item, I think. Hi. I'm glad, at least for the introduction of them right here, that you don't have to worry too much about encounters in the same places. You will later. Completely heck me up. Well, you just did one damage, so whatever. Okay, you're over there. Crap. Alright, we did it. Ah. There's a note on the floor. Swako Reed. Um, in the future, the enemy will become quite strong. It's very dangerous. Um, it's strong, but you can also get more experience points than you got from the previous floor. Let's move on when you reach about level 5. I'm sure it's okay. Mosquitoes. So you can go back up right here, because we're not done up here. Uh, there's this here. Okay, if you're gonna defend... So defending, I think, reduces the damage to a quarter? 
Yay! Now we have a shortcut back here. And that takes us almost right back to the entrance. So you want to get back to the entrance? Nice and easy. Also, a shortcut here. So you want to get to that hot spring. Nice and easy. Yeah, you, you can one-shot him. You cannot. Almost, though. Uh, she could probably one-shot him if she used a skill. I said that before, though, and didn't. It's just a small stretch on this floor. But I almost wonder the efficiency of doing it on this floor versus the upper floor and running into, like, one enemy. I feel like at the end of the day, you're spending about the same amount of time here, though. Eh, two SP's a lot, though. Cyrano's got it easy. All right, back down here where we're supposed to be. So something you may have saw just through the doorway there. It should be safe to go out. Yeah. That's a red orb. That one will murder you. And it's coming this way, so I'm gonna go this way and duck in here. Not the wiggly lasers! Oh wow, that hurt. Heck. Yeah, new enemies, much harder. Yeah, that one hit brought me down, so I'm gonna heal after one. It said don't come down until you're level five, but like, we're five, and that hurt. What did we get? 500... Oh, is that just 500 score? Yep, just 500 points. Okay, so it's going that way. We're gonna go this way. That door's locked as well. Here we picked up... Water. A key! Yeah, you by compare- oh no, no, no. This one is different from the one we just fought on the previous floor. This one is big. I know that's kind of funny. It's the same sprite, it's just scaled bigger, but it's big. It's harder. Yeah, if Cyrano couldn't do half its HP, then there's no way Swako could. Okay, this is gonna get real spooky real fast, but I just wanna get to the next room. No, because I don't know if they have battles turned on. Out here. Picked up an item. I think it's water. Water. Uh, so we picked up a key, that unlocks you. Oh, 
Okay, now comes the next spooky part, because that guy is right there. Yep, I got you down there. I can't cross over. Safety! Mouse! Uh, let's see here, that's defend item. In the middle of the fight, heal him. Yeah, I think it's time to grind. Oh, I mean, we gotta level up. We could probably use more, though. So, one thing this game does is leveling up is a drastic change. Like, an individual level does matter a lot. Also, you the experience that you get and need to level up is exponential. To the point that you can only grind so much in one area, because the enemies will just very quickly just stop giving you anything of value. So we stepped on a switch, it unlocked a door nearby. I do not know what door. This door. Stepped on a switch, it unlocked a door nearby. I do not know what door. Oh, I think it unlocked that door up there. Or this one. Not a door in this. They're not a switch in this room. What am I doing? Didn't actually have to do that. Oh, uh, right here though, there is this. So, shortcut back. Cool beans. In the meantime, we're going up that way. I'm really hoping Swako can take a hit. Stepped on a switch, not locked the door. Okay. Stepped on a switch, it unlocked a door. Oh, it unlocked that one over there, okay. We stepped on a switch, it unlocked a door. Good job, us. Um, I think this is, there's a note on the ground. Swako reads it. You'll see this particular message a lot early on. Which is... There's a wall somewhere in this room that can be broken. There's a, yeah, like there's a wall that can be broken here? Is there really a wall that can be broken? It's decided that there was because there was a lot of paper to write about it on. Or it's decided that it's possible because somebody wrote it on a piece of paper. It is, in fact, right here. I think that was a key? Yeah, I think that was a key. Okay, so we got a key, and we opened a door. So we should probably go check out that door. Which is right here. And I have to use another item immediately. That looks like water. Nope. 
an arrow mat. Whatever that is. Well, we can go up through there. You know what? Let's actually do just that. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted to do. Ta-da! And we're through. And there's a second exit. So if you don't want to come all the way back, we got this right here. Um, before we do that, there's something very fancy in this room. Oh no, you're the one who, like, wrecked us. Oh no, that wasn't so bad, actually. So you have to do a whole loop around, and then you hit this switch and something opens up. Do I even need to... Oh, yeah, I do need to do a special attack at least once. Hit the switch and the thing opens up. There's something on the ground. You found two skill cards and two spell cards. Uh, Cyrano and Suwako each wrote their uh, each wrote their respective skills. Um, Cyrano used an ice laser and ice mark icicle fall. I don't remember the actual name of the spell card, but it's you know spell card. Uh, Suwako used Ancient Geyser and the Source Sua Shimizu. These are spell cards. You find these. You don't get them through leveling. All of these abilities you get from leveling. Or maybe you don't. Maybe you get these through writing cards too. Because we just got this. And we didn't have that a second ago. So maybe I was mistaken. Um, attack with the rays of light. Charisma correction plus 40%. It is, can I get a, can I get a decent translation of the name of this? Ice laser, something of this sort. Yeah, and Suwako got... Come on, you can do it. Geyser of Quotient. Whatever, it's real tiny text. That one's hard to translate. Uh, it's like water coming out of the ground. Or No. Try again. It's like water coming out of your feet. Uh, uh, CHR correction plus 45% occasionally gets enemies wet. This is the per first ability in the game that we've found that can put a status effect on enemies. Of all the status effects in the game, I have no idea what wet does. But these are stronger moves. Also, spell cards. Ooh boy. So these are kind of expensive right now. What we've been using is just one or two. A cost of one or two. This is a cost of eight. But it's charisma plus 85%. Uh, drop the sword like a waterfall or... Waterfall and attack. Charisma correction plus 85%. Try again. No, I just doesn't like that text. That's fair. 
And then... No, it just does not like that blue text. It's just hard to get. Um, the earthy breath turns into water and attacks with water, pressu water pressure. Charisma plus 85%. Uh, there's a good chance you can get enemies wet. Again, nice if I had any idea what that did. These abilities, um, they're real expensive right now, so we're, we're going to be using them more as a last resort. Like you know now. 51. Still probably not worth it if we can't kill him immediately with it. Uh, so through this door over here is freedom, but we're just going to go home for now. Man, we made a lot of progress today. What do we have to sell? What do we have to sell? This is... She also gives us more information about stuff that we were otherwise just carrying around and didn't really know what to do with. A uh, machine that seems like good for a store display. It's big when it's been assembled. Yeah, all yours. And then she's excited because that's one of the things on her list. This one is... I think it's another thing that was on our list. Oh, an empty bottle. Yeah, that's it. Empty bottle. What are you saying? Thank you for selling! Sure. Oh, I think this is the scale. Okay, and then we have here, SP50, SP20. So the things that we've sold are now here in the shop. We have a POW 1.0 we can buy. That's kind of a time save though, if you really want to, now that we have access to a hot spring. We can go to the hot spring, grind power, and then go back. Because when we go back in there, we're gonna feel weak. Because we're good. You, when you go back in, you have power of one. I kind of want to buy more water, though. Things are starting to hurt. And I think that's the scale. Yeah. I'm just gonna buy all of them for now. Uh, not using as much SP? We will. Um, so those... the spell cards that we just got. They're a little expensive for us right now, but those are going to be our workhorses in this game. And look at that! We have the second item and something else that we can talk about. What do you want to talk about? Oh, about uh, spell cards. Yeah, let's talk about spell cards. Um, spell card, I can't use it because I don't have that ability. As far as I know, it's more powerful than a skill. Um, SP costs are also high. And then you just decided to erase the entire thing. So you must not be able to see where to use it. Can you just, like, n stop updating? Um, SP cost is also high, so you have to be careful about where you use it. If you run out of SP, you can use it again, but you have to take sweeteners. So, like, you know, restore your recipe.
Uh, by the way, you can enjoy some water sugar that we sell here at the store. Oh, I've already advertised it. I don't care. And that's it. Okay. So if the way that you get skills and spell cards is the same and you have to find them, then if I have... I, it's not necessarily a complaint about the game, but it is a note about it, let's say, is the distinction between skill or skills and spell cards seems a bit non-existent. Like, why are they on two different menus? It's all the same thing. They don't function differently. They don't like, oh, this one costs SP, this one doesn't cost SP, this one gets you through leveling, this one you don't. It's all the same thing. Like, the one just costs more. It's stronger but costs more. Like, you know, a better skill. It, it feels weird. I feel like more could have been done to, if not distinguish them, then just, like, lump them together. Whatever. Anyway, let's get some rest. Heal up. Powell's back at one. Until next time, everyone, I'm gonna hop on down there, do a little bit of grinding. <laughs>